Hey, I'm Deb Vieira. I hope you guys are doing great. In this video, I want to talk to you about a kind of film that I shot with last year. And you know, I did shoot with a few different kinds of film. Uh, you know, not a lot. But yeah, I did shoot with a few different kinds of film. Because, yeah, man, I was in pursuit, right? I needed to find a replacement for uh, Fujifilm Acros. <laughs> and I know I do talk about this a lot, man. But yeah, it was kind of a big thing for me last year because I had shot with that film for about two years exclusively or almost exclusively. So yeah, I needed to find a replacement that could be my everyday go-to film to replace Fujifilm Acros. You know, I was going to keep it real, man. I wanted to stay realistic and I didn't expect to find a film that I would love as much as Acros. So, yeah, I just didn't, realistically, I didn't think I would find that. I didn't think I would find that film that connected with me like Acros did. Yeah, just realistic, man. I just wanted to find a film that I would really like. You know, that I would really like what it would give me. I could shoot with it consistently and consistently, yeah, really like the shots that we got, the quality, the image quality. I wanted a film I could shoot during the day and just as easily shoot at night. And again, just really like what I got from those day shots, from those night shots consistently. That's what I was looking for. That's what would become my go-to film. So I did shoot, you know, a few different kinds of film. You guys made some suggestions. So thank you very much for that, man. That did really help. One kind of film that kept coming up was uh, Ilford, FP4+, Plus, right? Yeah, a few of you guys are talking about Ilford, FP4+. Plus. So I did go over to Flickr, and I checked out what people were getting with this film. Man, beautiful film. Fine-grained film. Yeah, gorgeous stuff, man. So I went ahead and picked up a couple rolls. Now, that's not a lot, right? If you're going to check out a new film, yeah, a couple rolls is not a lot. But I just kind of wanted to, um, yeah, just kind of get my feet wet with this film and see if I thought it might have the potential to become my go-to film. So I took it down. I went down to the uh, Arts District, shot with it for a while down there. Went down to uh, downtown, down to the Fremont area, shot with it down there. I will go ahead and share some of the photos that I got with it and kind of talk to you about this film and my experience with it. Okay. All right. Ilford FP4 Plus 125 ISO film, 125 speed film. But I had read online that a lot of people who use this film... And they love the results they got when they would push it to 200. So that's what I did. So all of this is FP4 Plus pushed to 200. You know, I figured if I really loved this film, I was going to push it further anyway. So this was just a good place to start. Man, you can see that, you know, this is not beautiful light. This is like, you know, life in the desert kind of light. But the film still looks good, man. It's got that beautiful fine grain. Yeah, gorgeous tones, man. Rich tones. Beautiful look to this film. I'm going to go ahead and let you check out a few more shots, and I will meet up with you on the other side. Okay. Okay, Ilford FP4 Plus. It's a 125 ISO film. All of that was pushed to 200. What'd you guys think? And man, Ilford, you know, as a company dedicated to black and white film photography. How cool is that, man? I don't think I've ever seen a film from uh, Ilford that I didn't like. I don't think you could go wrong shooting any of Ilford's film, right? It's a wide, versatile range of black and white film. Beautiful stuff, man. Gorgeous stuff. FP4 Plus, a beautiful film, right? Now, is it going to replace Acros with me as, a, as my go-to film? No, it's not going to do that, but it is a beautiful film, you know? And even looking at those shots kind of makes me want, want to go out and get a couple more rolls just to have around and shoot some more of it. It's a beautiful film, but, you know, we've all got that kind of whatever it is that makes us love the film that we really love. And sometimes we can't even really articulate it. 
but there's an emotional trigger that when we do look at that film, yeah, it does connect with us. And I didn't get that from F, uh, FP4+, Plus, but I do recognize that, yeah, clearly, man, it's a beautiful film. Gorgeous stuff, and I think I do want to shoot some more of it. But, yeah, it won't be my everyday go-to film anyway. But I did want to share this stuff with you guys. I do develop it in uh, Kodak HC110, so maybe if I used Ilford's developer, I might have seen some different results, right? Yeah. Hey, let me know what you guys think, especially if you do shoot with this film. You know, I want to share this with you because, you know, if you guys have kind of gotten into a rut where you're shooting the same kind of film over and over again, man, take it from me. It's good to break out of that every now and then and shoot some different kinds of film. Mix it up, man. And, you know, it keeps you from being bored. It keeps things exciting. Something different, man. You're going to see something different. You might not love it as much as the film that you do love, but it's good to mix it up, man. It keeps things from getting stale, from getting boring. Anyway, FP4+, plus, man, I'll keep sharing some of the, uh, in the upcoming videos, I'll share some experiences I had shooting other different kinds of film, too, and stuff like that. Hey, if you have any questions about this, let me know. I'll answer anything I can. I'm Ted Vieira, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.